this is hot off the press guys some new information was just dropped with a special partnership between microsoft and nintendo this is island gaming with jay and let's talk about this new partnership between microsoft and nintendo don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell let's get it so ahead of the Microsoft discussing with the CMA and the FTC about their merger with Activision Blizzard, um, they have dropped a, a bomb on the gaming industry showing that they are going into a deal with Nintendo. But before we look at the deal, remember the accusation from Sony says that if Microsoft gets hold of Call of Duty, that they would make it difficult for other players on other consoles to get Call of Duty. So this here is basically a, a, a slap to the face for Sony's argument. If there is a contract made with another platform guaranteeing that Call of Duty will come to that platform. Now let's look at the actual uh, tweet that was tweeted out by one of Microsoft's president. We have now signed a binding 10-year contract to bring Xbox games to Nintendo's gamers. This is just part of our commitment to bring Xbox games and Activision titles like Call of Duty to more players on more platforms. Microsoft and Nintendo have now negotiated and signed a binding 10-year legal agreement to bring Call of Duty to Nintendo players, the same day as Xbox with full feature and content parity. So they can experience Call of Duty just as Xbox and PlayStation gamers enjoy Call of Duty. We are committed to providing long-term equal access to Call of Duty to other gaming platforms, bringing more choice to more players and more competition to the gaming market. <laughs> what would Sony do now for their argument if they are saying that Microsoft is going to take away Call of Duty from players if this deal passed? This deal is basically passed because now if this is to go to court, Sony cannot bring this argument because we have clear evidence with contract to prove you know, that Microsoft is not going to hold this back from other platforms. Now, this is a very interesting development, but we'll see how it plays out. We also noted that some Xbox fans are not too happy with the wording used when they said that Xbox games would be coming to Nintendo. But we'll have to wait and see how that develops. Um, tell me what you think about it. Do you think this is a smart move by Microsoft when it comes to getting that deal to pass? Or do you think this is something else we need to worry about when it comes to Microsoft and uh, Nintendo. Let me know in the comment sections below. Like and subscribe for more videos. Later.